In this video, we're going to look at applying the Ken Burns effect to uh, static images in your video. Uh, what I have here are three static images that I'm just um, dragging down onto the um, timeline. And when you add a static image to Camtasia, the length of time by default that it sits um, on uh, the video is for five seconds. And you can obviously shorten or lengthen the amount of time that it's going to be on for. But I'm sticking with five seconds. Um, it'll be just right for this. So I've got 15 seconds of static videos. If I press play now, it's going to be 15 seconds of rather dull footage. We're going to spark it up using um, zooming and panning, which is the Ken Burns effect. Now, first thing you'll notice is that with my first image, it is not the same dimensions as the canvas. So I'm going to uh, increase the scale just so it fits. Luckily, the, um, the, the photograph uh, was big enough to be able to do that. So I'm only at 47.7% there. I click on animations. Now I can scale up or scale down using um, the presets within Camtasia. My choice is custom. It gives um, me a lot more control and it's just a personal preference. Now I've applied it to the piece of media and I'm stretching out the length of time that it, the animation is going to take to complete um, to the full five seconds or thereabouts. You'll notice it's yellow and its nose is red, which tells me it is active and the playhead is at the end. So the uh, scale I want at the end, I want to zoom in. We're at 47.7% and I'm going to take it up to about yeah, 67. So we've increased it by about 20%. Let's take the playhead back to the beginning and press play. And we see a nice zoom effect. Now, if I was to um, just check the properties of the animation itself, I have animation easing and it, um, I have chosen exponential in and out. That um, speeds up and slows down the, um, uh, the, the, the animation, gives it a nice little effect. Our second piece of media, again, um, is not the same dimensions as the canvas. I'm going to zoom right in. Let's concentrate on this fella here playing the saxophone on the right hand side. And again, I'm going to apply the custom animation. I'm going to draw the length out to the length of time that it's going to be on the screen. And on this occasion, I am going to draw the scale in. I'm going to zoom out. And I want to get it so we can see, that's it, the Spotted Cat Music Club sign on the right hand side. Now, the third one I have, again, the photograph is not of the same dimensions, 35.7%, so I'm going to scale that right up. We're going to go up to about 70 odd percent. That's fine. Now, the eagle eyed amongst you will notice it is a blurred photograph. Um, well, look, I took it at two o'clock in the morning in New Orleans. Uh, what, what do you expect? Um, clicking on animations again, custom animation. What we're going to do is we're going to pan with this one, S taking it out to the end and what I'm going to do is move Keep it on the yellow lines, it's stuck on the horizontal to there. And there we have it. And if I take the playhead back to the beginning and press play, that is the Ken Burns effect.